Hello, folks. My name is Ed. Today, let's look at 16 PlayStation 3 games on the Steam Deck. I will do a side-by-side -side comparison with Cry Utility on and off for the first five games, so we can see if the Cry Utility can boost PlayStation 3 emulation performance on the deck. By the way, if you are interested in the PSP grid art, please stay until the end of this video. Let's start with PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royal. As we can see here, this game performs really well on the deck. We have a minimal 40 FPS most of the time. In some fighting scenes, we can even hit a constant 60 FPS. I tested with three different battles, and they all run very well. After I turned the cry utility off, I did not notice any performance drop on this game. So yes, this game is definitely playable. Let's move to Modern Nation Racers. We can emulate this game at a steady 30 FPS. The game will dip to 22 FPS sometimes for a few seconds. When I turned off the cry utility, there is no performance decrease in this game. This game just runs so perfectly on the deck. Let's move to the next game, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. This game runs on deck, but the FPS just bumps up and down a lot. It can go from the lowest 10 FPS all the way up to 30 FPS. I would see an average 50 to 20 FPS for this game. I would not recommend playing this game on the deck at this moment. Here is the gameplay without cry utility. Again, I did not notice any performance drop. Game is playable, but not quite enjoyable with such fluctuating frame rate. Mortal Storm Pacific Rift, the FPS count only shows between 15 and 25 for this game, but let me tell you the truth, I did not feel any slowdown or lag at all during the gameplay, and playing this game on deck is absolutely amazing. This is one of the first PlayStation 3 games that I would like to enjoy on the deck. After switching off the cry utility, the FPS did not drop. I just felt the same performance when it was on. So whether you have cry utility or not, this game runs very well on deck. The fifth game is Pin. I love the name of this game. It accurately describes how you feel when you play this game. And yes, we can play this game on deck without any issue. The game will run at 20 to 30 FPS. Again, without cry utility, there is no performance decrease on this game. So I have tested all the first 5 games with cry utility on and off, and it seems there is no performance gain with all the games that I have tested. If you guys experience any performance boost with cry utility on PlayStation 3 games, please leave a comment below. For the rest of the games in this video, I will test the game without cry utility. Now let's move to the next game, the Metal Gear Solid 4. I have had a lot of people ask me if this game can be played on the Steam Deck. I have a piece of bad news here today. This game can't be played on the deck. It will freeze up on this loading screen forever. This is Armored Core 4. As we can see, this game works flawless on the deck and we have almost perfect 60 FPS most of the time. It is very rare to see PS3 games that can be played with 60 FPS on the deck. What an excellent performance. I really enjoy playing this game with Steam Deck. The next game is Kyozu 3. You guys will be really disappointed with the performance of this game on the deck. It only has 3 to 5 FPS, making it completely unplayable. Lollipop Chainsaw I originally played this game on my Xbox 360 back in 2012. Now, after 11 years, we can play this game on a handheld. Initially, I thought it's gonna be hard to emulate this game on the deck. Fortunately, the Steam Deck can handle this game pretty well and we have a very steady 30 FPS during gameplay. So if you are a fan of Lollipop Girls, this is a must play title on the deck.
The next game is Fight Night Champion. The audio is not perfect with this game. It has a kind of slow effect with audio, and we only have an average 22 FPS. I would consider this to be barely playable. Here is Heavenly Sword. I was shocked how good this game performs on the deck. Even though it shows 30 frame rates per second, there is not a single lag or starter in this game. The performance is extremely good. We can play this game all day long on the deck. Resistance 3. This is another bad news here. The Resistance 3 were not even load up. It was just stuck on this Steam loading screen forever. We have Sly Cooper saves in time here. This game runs very well. And we have an average 40 FPS with this game. Yes, this game is definitely playable on the Steam Deck. I desperately hope we can play NHL 14 on the deck. This game gave me a huge hope at the beginning. It had almost 60 FPS consistently. But once loaded into the actual gameplay, everything seems to slow down. The FPS number looks too good to be true. The actual gameplay is very slow. It feels like 5 to 10 FPS only. The game audio was completely broken either. The NHL 14 is not going to play well on the deck. However, according to one of my channel subscribers, he confirmed NHL 9 is playable on the deck. The Twisted Metal 4 is still a PS3 exclusive title in 2023. This game only has 3 to 10 FPS, which is totally unplayable on the deck. The audio is completely broken either. Dude, I wish this game could be played on the deck. That would be super cool. The last game I tested is Harry Potter at Deathly Hollow Part 2. The game was processed correctly at the beginning, then went into the black screen and stayed here permanently. Now let's look at this beautiful art from Great Studio. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. The one I have here is for PSP 1000. This art is so detailed and clean. Every single item inside this frame looks completely new. I have no idea how they achieved this. Every single component inside this frame just looks so clean and fresh. Just look at this motherboard, you will know how clean this thing is. The Grid Studio offers different type arts for smartphones, gaming consoles, and Apple products. If you are interested, please check out their website under the video description. Also, you can get 10% off if you use promotion code GRIDART. If you want to play PS3 games on your Steam Deck, please check out this video on my channel. As always, thanks for being here.